At Cornell's working dairy barn, the cows are already producing milk long before the sun rises, which means first-year students are already arriving for their first lab of the day. People who know what they want to do since they're little and just like have no doubt, I'm in awe of those people. Vet school was like a, an evolution for me, but it turned out to be the right decision, <laughs> which isn't necessarily the path that everybody takes, um, but it's how I ended up here. Knowing that this is just the first year is, at first it's overwhelming, and then you realize you can do it. You know, it, it kind of, it, you get that little voice in your head like, to stop, why would you do this to yourself? But then you realize it's something you want, it's your goal. To be honest, like I'm only ever happy when I'm doing something that's new. Ultimately, I think I chose veterinary medicine because of that. I think this is the first time since we've been here that I've woken up before my cat. Yeah. <laughs> I had known that school was going to be this hard. When I was like 10, I would have changed the TV shows I was watching and started watching something easy, like fashion. And then I wouldn't have become all obsessed about becoming a vet. Is everybody here now? Our milking procedure here is, is that we have a towel that we dry wipe, and then we pre-dip with iodine, and then we force drip to check for mastitis. That's the best time to check for mastitis when you're force drip. And then we wipe the iodine off, and then we put the milking unit on. So the first thing we do is we put gloves on. There's several farms in the world, and everybody does their own procedures of milking, but a lot of them do it the same way we do to uh, prevent cows from getting mastitis, but also make sure you ship clean milk. Mastitis is a bacterial infection of the cow's udder that can reduce milk production. While being treated with antibiotics, the milk cannot be sold. This is cool. I've actually always wanted to do this. I've always watched people milking cows, but I've never actually done it myself, so it's going to be really fun to learn about this. Your milking unit is when you go to put it on the cow, the blue hoses should be facing you, and your unit should be shaped like this. I call it a dry spider, so to speak. <clears throat> Reason being is if you turn your milking unit on for vacuum, and you have it like a wet spider, you're gonna be losing a lot of vacuum, and it's robbing vacuum from all the other units, okay? You're assigned your cows, go for it. What I've been exposed to of cow milking in Colombia, it's like, you know, the guy has a little stool and he's like, you know, and I thought that was like amazing. But here, like the cows are connected to some machines and like I, 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 I knew about that. I had just never seen it in person. Oh my God, look, ah! that is so cool. And it's warm.